hey guys this is gonna be like a just very chill little intro right now i am editing the fun from this vlog and i wanted to do like a little intro talk about birthright and just explain a little bit more also i hope this helps anyone who is thinking about going on birthright and doesn't really know what to expect i watched a, a lot of other youtube vlogs before I went on this trip, which were really helpful for me. So anyway, so just a little bit more about birthright. First of all, if you don't know what that is, birthright basically is if you are Jewish, if you have Jew Jewish heritage, you can go on a free trip to Israel. And by free trip, I mean they pay for your flight there, they pay for your flight back, they pay for all the hotels, and they pay for two meals a day. And then you just have to buy like, lunch when you're out and like tip the bus drivers and stuff like that but it's basically like a free trip to israel if you are jewish i went through the program at my school at university of miami so there were a bunch of different buses that went it was like 30-ish people on each bus and my group was mostly like kids from my school that i knew and then there were like a few other kids that came also which was cool to have a lot of people that i knew and then also some people i didn't know just a little bit of background about me if anyone is half jewish i am half jewish my mom is jewish my family on both sides is not religious really at all i was not really really raised um in a religious household i didn't go to hebrew school i didn't have a bat mitzvah i also didn't go to church the only church i did go to my dad used to take me and my brother to unitarian universalist church in our town and basically i just learned about a lot of different religions so i know before i went i was definitely thinking like oh i don't have a bat mitzvah i don't really know that much about the jewish religion like can i still go like is it gonna be weird it was so 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 fine and i feel like honestly i got so much out of the trip and i really came back with much more of a connection to Judaism and Israel than I thought I would which is so cool and a lot of aspects of the trip were just talking about Judaism as a way to like relate to that part of my history and my ancestors rather than the super religious aspect of it which I thought was cool and really resonated with me personally a lot so yeah I just wanted to also trip what the best way I can describe it is it's really like summer camp you're on a bus you have tour guides you're with 30 kids and you're doing a lot every day there's hiking there's camping overnight um we went to the dead sea we went to tel aviv jerusalem nazareth i think is how you say it um cities up in the north and it was a lot of traveling a lot of activities a lot of fun stuff and then a lot of also talking and like deeper experiences which again i personally got a lot out of way more than i thought that i would we went to listen to two speakers, talked about two completely different topics relating to Israel, and I love listening to people. If you know me, I love listening to podcasts, and these two speakers were both amazing, and that's like my favorite thing in the world, is to listen to good speakers speak, so that was really cool. I didn't vlog that. There was a lot of like the deeper um, experiences that I like didn't really vlog, um, but yeah, it was a really good mix of like fun stuff, learning uh experiencing the culture also i did not know this before going on the trip but five israeli soldiers joined our bus and like our trip also i didn't know that that was the thing really just made the trip so much better and my roomie noga i roomed with her in jerusalem um if you have any questions about birthright or my experience dm me on instagram and i will definitely get back to you guys and answer any questions that i can help you with but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video definitely make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye Bubbles are fun. Yeah, and we're eating. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm some, sometimes not strict. So. Mm -hmm. Now we have the new fountain.
This is so cool. It's so pretty. So cute. Yes, we. We're finally in the hotel room. It's 9 p.m. right now. I just wanted to say hey, but basically we've been on a plane. We had a connecting flight to Canada and then a flight here. And then we were on a bus for like four hours to drive to our hotel and we stopped at the beach, which I definitely put clips of. But yeah, we're finally here. I'm absolutely exhausted. Need to shower right now and just go to bed. But I'm so excited that we're here and I'm so excited for this trip. I'm just so excited. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, I'm loving it. Morning. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Phoebe's in her full fit. It's the terry cloth. Off to a good start. Oh. Oh <laughs> Wait, the water's freezing. <laughs> you want me to paddle? No, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like, no. Actually, like, I got, like, fucked up by the first one. <laughs> it, like, took out my planet. Hi! Hi. <laughs> that is vibing. Here we go! <laughs> oh my god, wait, I'm really... <laughs> Stone that was sticking up. It hit my knee, but it didn't hurt. <laughs> Hi, little sister. Hi, little sister. Whoa. It's so quiet. It is. Oh, that's nice. Right now, my. Everything's so pretty. Is it good? I like life for all pictures. It's really pretty. Yeah. Like, 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 what? We are in spot. We had lunch. I got like pita and falafel. It was so yummy. And we just went to this like little art place. And now we're going back to the bus. Hi, vloggy. We're back at the hotel from spot. Lily had such a fun day. And me and Phoebe were going to go to the gym just because I've been like so antsy because we've been on a bus for so long coming home. I'm out of breath. And the gym was closed. So we just came outside. We're just like doing a little workout. We're at the pool area and it's really nice out so blast edm do 10 minutes with, like abs and some leg stuff and feel so much better and tonight is shabbat so i have to go get ready and then we have dinner and i'm excited okay just came back showered did not wash my hair and got ready for din for shabbat this is my little outfit dress and little cardigan no idea but it is pretty. Yeah. 
What is it called? How is it? Very good. Or's house. This is such a good spot. I asked a few minutes ago, is hummus Israeli food? You all said yes, and I said no. So it's down and back up. So you can get all the different layers. I know. I hope you're excited and you're hungry. <laughs> good luck. Ooh. I know. Yala, finish it off. <laughs> Is there a in here? Sesame free. Sesame free, but no. Guys, the beach here is insane. It's so pretty. It is really cool. So we are at the beach in Tel Aviv. I don't even know what the beach is called. We've been in Tel Aviv all day. It's so, 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 so nice here. I'm in love. And I'm having some fun. This beach is such a vibe. It's, it is. I'm happy we got like a beautiful day too. That is really cute. Wi-Fi is fail-free, no mastering. So nice. The shower is like right here. We're like, let's go. I was like, wait. I feel like I'm going to a business meeting. Where the meeting at? Good 
morning, Bogotov. We are driving to, I don't know where, but we left Tel Aviv and we're going to like the desert where we're camping tonight and I'm really excited. And I think we're gonna ride camels and then tomorrow we have like the Dead Sea and a big hike. So I'm really excited. We just got a coffee at Aroma. That's like the big place here apparently. And yeah, beautiful day again. Doing people, a bit Christians people who live there. And after a, after the sec the first world war, the British Empire was. Black coffee? I like mine. Oh, yeah. so cool. Alex Wormwa. He's known as Jacinta. He's basically ever seen. I'll give you a demo. As deep as you can. Okay, with the. Yeah, I'll find you. I think it's a sleeping bag. No? Yeah, I think it is too. Oof. <laughs> oh my god. Logan!
I'm excited. Oh, this light. <laughs> oh man. Oh, puppy. Okay, but that probably was. That's not a puppy, that's a wolf. And my eyes are like swollen. <laughs> Morning. Just woke up from camping. I just like washed my face quickly. Um, I actually slept pretty well. We're at the Bedouin tents. And yeah, it's really vibey here. It's very touristy, but like kind of cool, very cool. And yeah, very peaceful. Lots of birds. Wow. Good for you. Good Was you. it It's, it's enormous. This thing's cool. It's warm in there. Send messages. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. Or these are the pigeons that were talking about. Or what? Is this the brown in there? There's something, there's something very special about this spot. Two, three. Hosanna! Oh my god. That's so cool. They got some spiritual shit or something. <laughs> that would be so cool. You could it? No, I couldn't. Why not? I that's crazy. It's huge. It's so cool. It is very warm. Like, do I just float? Um, oh! Like you just, it look like I'm floating. I'm fully floating. And then what is use? Maybe float. <laughs> really? I was in there for two minutes. It does sting. I like the bops. I like the ox. Yeah. Just made it to Jerusalem. We made it. I don't know places. Wednesday and I'll show you guys the view from our hotel in a second but I just got ready this is my outfit and I'm gonna go down to eat breakfast and then we have like a full day I think don't know exactly what we're doing but this is our view I know we're going to listen to this speaker and then we're walking around Jerusalem I think we're going to some markets some shopping and then we're eating dinner out tonight so I'm very excited for some yummy food <laughs> Today. 
It was easy, no? It's not like yeah, so it wasn't. It's just a little hot and we yeah, need coffee. A little. Yeah, we do need coffee. <laughs> we do need coffee. Yeah, uh, where's schnitzel? Me first, you um, ears. There is a Starbucks ear. The only Starbucks store <laughs> is Israel, really? but they loaded because they opened the Starbucks and in the time of war. They opened the Starbucks in 2006. Yeah. You have to fix it, Adam. What is this thing? I don't know. It's a well, reconstruction of the middle. You know, like a story. Sorry, this tool, uh, this menorah, it was actually the symbol of Judaism. Mm -hmm. Today, we everybody have here uh, like a Star of David, yeah? To the Torah, and then, um, and then, you know. Like a, This is going to be the vlog outro. <laughs>